So I wanna talk about the negativity in the sports card hobby, as well as the Magic the Gathering hobby. Uh, obviously, 30th edition anniversary was a disaster for Magic the Gathering. And overall, Weiss hobby is very negative right now. They've lost a lot of money. And if you don't have money, so let me give you two scenarios. One scenario, we're all buying Magic cards and Pokemon cards and sports cards, and every single month, it continues to go up in price. So we buy for 100, Next month is 120, next month it's 200, next month it is 400. Everyone is super happy. Everyone's making money, everyone is, you know, as Mark's cards would say, I'm here for the vibes. The vibes are good. Uh, my favorite quote from Mark's cards is, let's eat, let's all eat. Okay. <laughs> That makes sense when people are, you know, selling cards for outrageous amounts of money, right? When you're Spider-Man PMG selling for 200,000 and then next day it's down to 10,000, those vibes are not really good. So I want to make sure people understand why channels like Sasha T no longer put up videos. Uh, she collects cards, no longer puts out as many videos. Sunday Lee Collector, I think he's mentioning, he cannot, he cannot justify going to card conventions in the future because it costs a thousand dollars or one of the two. I don't forget, uh, one of the soccer guys, um, they're saying that they're not going to be able to go to card conventions as much. The hobby has absolutely changed because there's no money. If there's no money, the card value goes down and everyone feels bad. Like, it's not a mystery. I, I don't know, understand the positivity. What is there to be positive about when your Marvel PMG has lost 95% of its value? When your base cards have lost 90% of their value, your, your ultra modern cards have lost 95%. What is there to be positive about if you are an investor or flipper? Now, if you are a collector, yeah, it's our time to shine. We can get cards for penny, literally pennies on the dollar, nickels on the dollar. It's a great time to be a collector. Not a great time if your YouTube channel has investor or investment in its name, right? Because you're still associated with that idea of, oh, we're gonna buy in a boon and now everyone has lost all their money. Like people are upset because they did listen and we had this argument with FTX you know, how, how responsible is Tom Brady and Giselle? They didn't make you buy the crypto and put it out in FTX, but they were in a Super Bowl ad and they're in lawsuits right now, as is uh, Justin Bieber with the Bored Ape Yacht Club. I think it's called Yugo Labs. There are a lot of angry people, even outside, you know, even outside the realm of cards, you know, and NFTs and crypto. There's a lot of angry people upset at Steph Curry, Shaquille O'Neal, they're all being sued. And the question remains, even though nobody is saying that they're 100% liable, right? That, oh my gosh, without Tom Brady, you wouldn't have bought, no, no, they're saying that there is some fault, some liability. 